in your birthday, Christmas, you get your present from your family. I always been asking for a car, even though it's a car model. Then one day I went to the indoor karting track and my dad was driving, so I had my eye closed. Really scary the whole the whole, I don't know, 10 minute slot. But then after I finally, you know, got my first try by driving myself. That was the age of probably only seven years old. And then I absolutely loved it. So I started to go there every day and started, you know, to be more interested into that motorsports. 一直到二零零三年，当时国际汽联决定要在中国开始举办FE赛事开始，那么中国真正的方程式的赛车运动就快速的发展起来。When I was younger, before I moved to UK, I literally went to every Grand Prix in Shanghai. By then, I didn't even started karting, even started racing yet. I know nothing about motorsports. I was just, you know, a fan of cars. So my dad said we have, you know, tickets to go to the Grand Prix, and I don't know what's Formula One. It was a special memory to be looking back into it. That's for sure. Holding Fernando's flag, and uh, actually this year I got to drive his car as well. So it's quite an impressive uh, journey all the way from then to now. Obviously, there's a lot of news going on back home not just from sports media, from in general. I don't mind, you know, all that sort of stuff. As a young driver, you know, having people supporting you is always a huge motivation from my side, and uh, it's always great to have them on board. It was pretty hot, but yesterday was worse. Yeah. Today was more the wind, it was, it was difficult to drive. <laughs> I think F1 is going to be super hard. Well, let's just check in then on which drivers we can expect in FP1. We've got Guan Yu Zhou, the young Chinese driver, uh, currently racing in F2, standing in for Fernando Alonso. Jumping in a Formula One car when it's a new experience for you is, a, is an emotional time, especially when you've worked so hard to get there. It's a life's goal, it's a life's dream to be here, but actually they still need to perform. Big moment to get in a, a Formula One car and, and drive it at speeds around the Red Bull ring. P15 for him, uh, slotting in just behind his teammate Esteban Ocon. What a session that must have been. So exciting to drive the Alpine. Thank you so much, everyone, for this experience. I absolutely loved it. Norris made a good progression. You know, it was a good opportunity when you have two weekends in a row in the same track to give uh, the FP1 to, to the young drivers. So, you know, let's, let's see if uh, later in the year there are more opportunities for you. It's, it's amazing. I mean, the team believing in me to be stepping on Fernando's car. I have to take care of it, but I was also pushing as much as I could and uh, to show my own full potential. Now really just focus on, you know, in the future, see what I can bring more for the team. Firstly, it's a huge honor, you know, to be represent my country, to be also the only driver, only Chinese driver in the Formula 2 paddock in the recent few years. And uh, I'm also very proud, you know, with the results which we achieved as a team together. And, uh, you know, I'm super pumped up. Every race weekend is quite challenging for all of us. And I try to adapt as quick as I could, especially in the first year of Formula 2. And now to be the championship contender is something quite a lot means all the reward is paying off so I hopefully you know to get it all together and to be ending up the championship in a high. These two years has been difficult my family wasn't able to be along with me on the track side but uh, they are watching every race I'm just really happy you know having them always behind my back and uh, my goal you know to become the first ever Chinese Formula One driver and hopefully that dream can come true one day. UK is kind of my second home because, you know, when I was a kid, I moved to UK, not just for racing, also for study. Still quite a lot different culture, but uh, overall, I feel it's very home, especially when we go to Silverstone. It's like a, kind of like a home track for me. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so Thank you. Good weekend. British people love motorsports, and uh, that's why I love to live in this country. If one day I'd be on the grid together with all these current F1 driver champions together, it's like a young, 
child dream become true because that's my goal, that was the target, that was the reason I started all my racing career is to achieve that. And uh, yeah, we've been working hard, pushing over the limits day by day. And uh, if that comes true, I think that means all, everything is paid off, not just for myself, for my family, for everyone who support me on the back, also for my country to be the first ever driver represent China.